Welcome back everybody. I'm just going to wait for our Prophet Ivan to join us again. Welcome everybody, thank you for joining again. I'm just going to make a request. I request again to you, Ivan, if you can just click on that button again. Um, those of you that are joining back, please um, share the live once again. We're going to have another, by God's grace, have another um, bit more time with our with um, our prophet and evangelist. Thank you so much. So um, there, there is just a couple of things I, I really, I'm kind of itching to ask you once again about sure. the heaven and hell experience. So now there are Christians out there that actually struggle with sin. It could be fornication, yeah. young people, you know, at that time of their life, they haven't found the right partner. They have a difficulty sure. controlling their passions, or it could be they're just in the wrong crowd, lying. It could be any type of sin that they struggle with sure absolutely hearing this they may think oh my gosh I, I keep on watching porn i keep on i don't know dishonoring my mum. i i'm doing I'm, I'm rude to people you know i'm definitely going to hell you know sometimes mm -hmm. people can have that thought in their mind because they still think they have this sin what would you say to those people that are struggling that are christian believers they love yeah. god but they're struggling well th there's a couple of things first of all one of the things that God showed me was about the future. And I, and I have to bring this up in order to explain this. Yeah, sure. Go it's ahead. It is something called hidden intentional sin. Yes. And let me explain to you what hidden intentional sin is. Hidden intentional sin is a sin that you want to hide from everybody because everybody thinks you're this great Christian person. You know, you could be the best father or mother. And, and as soon as you get out of church, you go home, you pull out your laptop, you know, yep. or, or, you, you pull out your phone and you you start digging through there and you start looking at pornography and, and then the pornography overtakes you. And, you know, it's a hidden intentional sin. It's not a sin that, you know, you, you're driving down the road and somebody cuts in front of you and you're like, ah, and you start saying something and you, you know, you want to punch their lights out or something, you know, that's an unintentional sin. You didn't wake right. up in the morning and go, I can't wait to punch somebody's lights out. You know, that's, that's a, it, uh, unintentional, or, you know, <clears throat> something else might happen, you know, but if you really love the Lord, you're not going to be looking at porn. I'm going to be blunt. Okay. We struggle with things. We understand that we struggle every day. You need to just say, okay, God, here's, here's what I would tell you. James four, seven is the best scripture you can use for that. Because when I saw the hidden intentional sin, God said that he's going to start exposing that. Right. It, what do so you mean how by we, that? This is what I mean. Let's say you're looking at pornography all the time and nobody yeah. else knows, just you. Then all of a sudden, there's going to be something happen where people are going to know that you're looking at pornography. Oh. They're going to see it. And it's going to be awfully embarrassing. Right. You're having affairs with a bunch of people or somebody or one person or whatever. It's going to be exposed. And you're going to wonder about, you know, these things are going to happen. So now, if you just say, okay, I'm done with this. <clears throat> pardon me, I want to change my life. Here's what you do. You go to James 4, 7, and you read it. And, and it says to submit yourselves. In other words, submit what you have, give it to yeah. him. Then, uh, submit yourselves, comma, then, comma, to God, period. That's the first part of that thing. In other words, you have to take the sin that you have that keeps you, you know, encapsulated into this lifestyle and you have to take that sin and go, okay, here it is, God. I submit this to you. I give this completely to you. Please take it from me. Mm -hmm. Now, it doesn't mean it's just going to go away and you're like, woo, I'm happy ever after, you know. Yeah. Uh, here's the second part of that scripture. After you submit it to him, then and only then can you do the second half of that. And that is resist the devil and he will flee from mm -hmm. you. Now, what that means is that if you keep resisting, the devil's going to go, I've had enough of this idiot. I'm out of here. And he's gone. Mm. I mean, he, he wants the easy target. And you were the, easy, the, the easiest thing in the world. The same thing that once he got Eve to eat of the fruit and Adam to eat of the fruit, they recognized their nakedness. Okay. It, th they realized there was something else because it wasn't pure then. It wasn't like little children running around naked, you know. 
It was all of a sudden as adults and evil thoughts came through their mind. See, that's the, the flesh is the easiest thing to corrupt our minds. It corrupts the mind instantly because we are flesh. Yeah, exactly. And so that's so easy to corrupt. Doesn't mean that you're a bad person. It means you have a mind that you got to get control of. Mm -hmm. and, yes. and the way you get control of it is you submit it to God. And once you submit it to him, then you can resist the devil and the devil will run away from you. He'll get away from you. He don't want anything to do with you. Yeah. The devil will run from you so fast it's unreal. He just wants to get away from you. But it doesn't mean it's going to happen right away. It might take two, three months. You know, when I quit the drugs and I quit running around with women, was it easy? No. I'll be honest with you. Now, the drugs, for some reason, were easy. But the women weren't easy, you know, to try to stop, you know, as, as part of the flesh. Yeah. But I had to say no. Yeah. I, I'm like, no. And, and James 4, 7 was the first scripture that I ran across that explained what I had to do. Mm. I had to give it to him. Once you give it to him, then you can resist. Mm. But you can't until you give it. Don't sit there and say, oh, God, take it from me because he's not going to do that. He's already mm. done everything he's going to do. He gave his son to die for you. What else do you amen. want? Yes. And then. Amen. Would you give your child, would you give somebody in your family to go die for everybody else in the world, even before they're born? Hey, we're just going to let you, you know, hey, don't worry. Just take their life. No, mm. but he did that. He's already given the most precious thing that he had, his son, to come here in the flesh and then to die for us. Mm. We have to do our part. Yeah. God doesn't just go, blah, blah. We have to submit it to him. And, and once we submit it to him, hey, sometimes it's like, great. And he took it, you know, mm. like I didn't have any problems with drugs. I've yeah. never been tempted with drugs. Never been tempted, tempted to drink again. Absolutely no temptation. But part of that is because I'm so far removed from it. Here's yeah. what you do. You fill your mind with something else. What you feed grows, what you starve dies. It's a good Spiritually, one, yeah. physically, mentally, whatever. Mm -hmm. What you feed grows, what you starve dies. If you feed your mind, if you get that Bible out and you start reading the word of God every day, I mean, two, three, four chapters a day, and you spend time in worship and prayer with God, you put nothing but worship music on around you. Sorry, I'm starting to preach. But no, that's you so put, ahead. <laughs> you, you put worship music on behind you and you have worship music and that's all you listen to 24 hours a day, seven days a week or however long you can listen to it. You have that worship music on and no other kind of music, no other anything else to tempt you or to pull you away. You can get so deep in God that all those desires, all those things will leave you and they don't want to be there anymore. You won't because you're feeding your mind with other things. If you feed your mind pornography, that's what's going to live in there. Mm. Example, if you play video games and you're in there playing video games for like an hour or something, you get up from that video game and you're out doing something else. You still see that video game. You'll watch some other stuff going on. You go, oh, man, he, he could hide behind that, you know, and these things pop up in your head because that's what you feed in your head. Mm. And whatever you feed in the brain leaks into the spirit, the soul and the spirit. And that's what that's tries what? to enter you. Mm. So you have to fight it. It's not yeah. just going to go away. Yeah. But God will forgive you. Don't, don't think that he yeah. won't. And listen, everybody struggles with some things. And when you struggle, yeah. ask for forgiveness. Yeah. But don't keep going back and doing the same thing. You know, it's like yeah. a dog going back to its vomit. Don't do it. You know, walk away from it, you yeah. know. And get the right you people around you to, to help, you know, to give you, give you help. Because yes. sometimes you need, you need that, the brothers and sisters, leaders, those that will be there for right. you to, get, to get help. So, so yeah. It's, yes. I, I, Thank you for answering that because that's sometimes when people listen to these, they think, oh my gosh, I'm sinning. But the encouragement is repent and get help. Yeah. Uh, God is absolutely. willing to forgive you. So, so that's amazing. So we've just got one, um, one further question about heaven. In heaven, I know you explained your journey back, but just rewinding a bit. In heaven, did you see, the Bible talks about rewards being stored up for believers. Um, right things that we do here on earth we're storing up rewards in heaven what, mm -hmm. what did you see those rewards and could you describe what they were I, yeah I, I know there's a place for those rewards i was not given privy to that because i did okay. not have any rewards coming to me yeah so I, it was not something for me to really see but yeah it's sure. there sure yes so okay. there are rewards thank in you. heaven so. thank you thank you and um you said on your when you came back to earth, obviously you were supernaturally healed as well from an ailment. Mm -hmm. And you said you had the gift to be able to see with your, with your son, you were able to know what he was doing. And um, were there any other supernatural gifts that suddenly arose from that? Oh yeah. Um, what other gifts did you receive 
from that experience. Well, there's, there's healing, there's deliverance, you know, there's all these okay. things that God magnified, you know, into me, the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of God, you know, it just, it's really magnified in me. So like, I'll give you a, for instance, I, I, I learned something, if I can talk about this for just a minute. Yeah, sure, go I ahead. Learned, yeah. I, I learned something about the earth, and I know the beginning of the earth, there's something that happened at the beginning of the earth where if you read about it in Genesis and it ta talks about the spirit of God, it doesn't say the Holy spirit. It says the spirit of God. Well, God is spirit. Mm. So when this earth was formless, it was nothing but a ball of water just rolling around out in space, so to speak. God came down and hovered over it. And when he came down and hovered over, it, he was preparing this earth for something. So every ounce of water that's on the earth today was on the earth back then. Once you wow. have the glory of God touch you and the glory of God surrounds you and is on you, it never leaves you. Mm -hmm. It doesn't wear out. You know, God's glory does not wear out. <clears throat> so it's not like, oh, maybe 20 years later, oh, well, it's gone now. No, it's always there. And since the glory of God was on mm -hmm. this water, Every ounce of water on this earth has had the glory of God on it. It's had wow. the spirit of God on it. So mm -hmm. when I go to baptize people, I just lay my hands in the waters quietly. I don't do this, you know, out loud to people. I just say, okay, God, I want this water activated with the glory of God that was on it before. And when I baptize these people, I expect miracles to happen. So then wow. I baptize people. I baptize them in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. I put them down under. And when they come back up, I do the same thing that happened to Jesus. I just, I just go... I just go, God, let your glory come on him. But God, this is your son or your daughter in whom you're well pleased. And, and God, I just pray that your glory comes on them and fills them, takes care of anything they need. Now, I've had people that get completely healed from stage four cancers. I've had wow. people completely delivered from, from, I mean, completely delivered from demonic. I mean, this one lady, she was from Iraq and she'd been in church for 13 years. She wanted it, but she couldn't, did, nobody could get rid of the demons that were in her. She had so much. Wow. And she came and I baptized her. And when I put her down under, now she's a tiny little thing. But when I put her down under that water and she came back up, she had the strength of like, you know, 10 men. And she oh, just God. arched her back up. Her back just arched way up, you know, and it arched up. And I'm like, whoa, and I'm trying to hold this lady. And I have two other people there too in the water with me. We're trying to hold her. And she's just like, oh, and then I said, and she was out. She, I had to hand her off to somebody float into the, I call them floaters. <laughs> so, so she could float in the water. She floated in the water for probably a half hour. When she came out of that water, she was so delivered for the first time. Wow. And, and I know this because she would find me at this church I would go to sometimes and she would follow me over there and she'd come up giving me candy and she says, Oh, thank you. Thank you. I keep telling her, it's not me. I didn't do anything. I just obey God, you know, give the candy to God. <laughs> You're going to make me fat. <laughs> so, <laughs> So, wow. uh, I mean, she, she, that was her thankfulness and she was always thanking God. She, you know, so these kind of things happen. There's been people that had broken bones that got, that got baptized and the bones healed instantly. I mean, there's just all types of things. People that have no yeah. hearing or, or, or loss of hearing or, or sight. These things are actually happening. And it's not just with me. There's some other places that yeah. people have caught on and realized it's going on. It's happening. Yeah. There's yeah. more to baptism than you can imagine. But yeah. There's a lot of different gifts that God gave me. There's a lot of different things that I've seen. There's a lot of things that have happened. There's a greater glory that is just beginning to, to break out in this world. Amen. And you're going to start seeing it. You're going to start hearing about people getting healed for no reason at all. I mean, somebody walks by and their shadow hits them and they get healed. But there's somebody that walks by is somebody that's walking in the glory of God. Oh, God. That, wow. You know, because wow, God's man. glory... His glory is about to just un be unfolded here very shortly. So. Wow. Wow. Thank you for that encouragement, letting us know, because I think, like myself, I'm hungry to see the supernatural. I, I, sure. You know, our, our God is a God that is not dead. And I think sometimes you go into places where there is no supernatural. And I'm thinking, yeah. you're just preaching. Where, where's, where's, the, where's the miracles? Where's the wonders of God? Yes. So I, I, I'm, I'm encouraged that I'm, we're, we're connected, we're in fellowship with someone like yourself who has yeah. been touched by the glory of God, that's been touched by the power of God. So um, from, that, from that experience so that you've had since then, you've got these giftings, everything. Have you had any other similar encounter 
obviously not exactly the same similar encounter where you have maybe been taken back to heaven or you've seen, I know you said you've seen angels, but you've seen anything on that level, um, on that no, level. The answer's, the the answer's no, no. That, that, that was a one-time deal, mm. <laughs> you know? but I do have visions. Yeah. I do get visited by angels. I don't, you know, I don't talk about them all the time. I do, I do have visitations by angels and I do have visions. And I mean, they're visions that are, I'm like, I'm right there. Wow. You know, it's, it's like if you could walk into a 3D movie and you're like looking around and you're looking at everything, you know, and I'm there. I mean, I see things happening. I know what's going on, you know. Amen. And so Amen. those type of things. But I've never been taken back to heaven, uh, except for when I went through a baptism. Uh, I was able to actually meet with Jesus and talk with him. Mm. It's the same thing happened to me when I got baptized. So I, 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 I was there talking to Jesus and he talked to me, you know, and he gave me his blessings and it was kind of unusual situation there, but it was a beautiful thing. So, yeah, so things, things do happen. Things are you still know. happen. Wow. And then, and then and there's so, so much, much yeah. more to come right yeah. now. So. Amen. Amen. Ivan, thank you so much for sharing your story, sharing um, that, you know, heaven and hell and the supernatural, the afterlife is real. You know, the spirit world, as people may see it, is real. It's not something that's very, um, you know, a fairy story. It's, it's very, very real. So thank you for sharing that. Now, my husband's just asked me, <laughs> could you please briefly explain what is, because this is a big thing that's going on right now. Do you have anything that you can share concerning the spiritual climate in America at the moment? If there's any word that you can sure. give, any insight, because there's a lot going on, as you know, with the elections and everything. Oh, yeah. There's a lot going on. Here, here's what's going on. People go, oh, the prophets were all wrong. Well, no, the prophets were not wrong. Yeah. You know, you know <laughs> there's, there's things that are coming. Now, our president, President Trump, you know, he was elected president yeah. back in 2016. And the reality of it is he won this election too, but there's so many things that they're going to have to go through to prove that because there's so many evil things that happened. Um, just a lot of things that have happened, but mm. right now in, in our country, we're getting together and we're praying together. Amen. We're praying that God reveals these things that God mm. supernaturally allows these things to be revealed that the plans that the enemy had will be thwarted yeah. and they'll just open up and that these things will happen. So that's, what's going on. I mean, there was a time about the, about a week ago where there was so much fear and that started getting rebuked. And even on my Facebook page and other places I'm putting up there, you know, you, you can't do this because you're promoting yeah. what Satan has. Yeah. Listen, you never give up. You mm. never give up. Yes. It's just like I talk about when you quit drugs and you quit drinking and you quit pornography. You quit, don't give up. Yeah. Submit it to God. Start rejoicing if you have to. But you just resist the devil and he'll flee. So, yeah, yeah. it's it's good. Amen. So, Amen. Thank you for sharing that and uh, your insight. You're welcome. Because I know you're quite quite passionate now, about that as well. Can, I, can I bring something up? Yeah, if, sure. if there's some If there's somebody watching that's pregnant or somebody in their family that's pregnant yes, uh, yeah. right, right now, uh, I just want to say this. I don't know who it is. I, I don't have a name. But yeah. what I know is that whoever is pregnant, that child inside of them right now, Jesus. Amen. It is is a prophet. Is is oh. is a prophet or prophetess? This child is actually it, right now. When it was knitted in the mother's womb, this child is becoming a prophet. When this child is born, you're going to see so many things that are going to happen with this child. You're going to see signs, miracles, and wonders with this little child. So whoever Amen. it is that's pregnant, <laughs> uh, it, was that is that you? No. Who me? Who is it? I don't know. Who's got a child? I, know, right I think there's. I think there is somebody on this live that possibly is giving birth very soon. So, yes. um, you know, if that person, you know, I think she's she's in the process of giving birth very soon. I, just for her confidentiality, yeah. she wants to because she wants to say she can on the live. She well, put her name up, but there is someone I I know very close that she. Okay. Yeah. Well, this this child is going to be a prophet and a prophet of God. Wow, but wow. this child's going to walk in signs, miracles, and wonders. And the Lord is just showing me that. I'm like, wow. Okay, Lord. Praise Open God, my yeah. mouth. Let it go. So Thank you, Lord. I didn't so know they... who it was. 
And I said you because there's a connection to you, whoever the person is. So yes. maybe that's what it is. That's what it is. Yeah. yeah, she's in our ministry. So she just said, it's me, Natalie Seely. Thank you. God bless you. Now. Amazing. Okay. Thank you for that word. And um, we have a couple of, um, if we can just now move into, um, I know there's some questions, but um, I can see a few people have been asking for some words and prayers. Now I have a um, Sheena Patel. She is asking if you can, she hasn't asked anything for specific, but can you pray for her husband, if you can pray for her husband. Sure. Yeah, Sheena, I, I can pray for your husband because I see that he's got some problems coming. He's been going through some really tough stuff recently. So I just ask right now, Heavenly Father, that you, you just take Sheena's husband and that God, you will speak to him. God, you make yourself real to him. That Heavenly Amen. Father, you'll, you'll open up doors that were not normally opened up for him. And God, Amen. you'll move in his life right now. And God, you'll start revealing. God, I ask for you to reveal supernatural things to him that will make him understand even more of you because he needs it in right Jesus now. Name, amen. And I ask for that right now in Jesus' name that God, if there's any healing Lord. that needs to be involved, you'll do that instantly. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Thank you, Thank God. You. Yes. Amen. Thank you so much for that. And I have got Zoe. Um, Zoe, can I receive a word from Evan, does he see anything? Zoe Fury, um, she's asking for a word from yourself. If there's anything the Lord is revealing. Well, you, you know, I, and I, I say this to people too. Uh, when, I, when I get something from God, it's not like fortune telling. I yeah. have people all the time, they come up and they go, oh, give me a word, give me a word. Well, it's not, <laughs> it doesn't work like that. It's not like, hey, we're going to look at your palm and yeah. tell you some fake stuff. So, if I get something from God, it, it's going to be from God. Or if yes. I don't get something from God, I would tell you that too. And that's what so we I want. Just, yeah. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm pretty blunt. So Good. right off the bat, Zoe, I, I know this. This is the only thing that the Lord has shown me right now. There's a situation that's going to change for you financially. And Amen. that's that's what I I don't know who you are, but there's a financial mm -hmm. situation wow. that's ready to turn for the better for you. And Amen. you watch over the next three months. I know it seems like, disastrous this time of year sometimes and, and especially with the lockdowns and everything else that's going on but in three months from now your life is going to change you know on those things so yeah amen hallelujah thank you so much for that thank you um okay and we've got uh moshe moshe can you pray for favor for me and my family and prophetic insight hmm. Mm. Yeah. Lord. Thank you, God. Well, Moshe. Um, mm, okay. <laughs> Moshe, for, first of all, this is what I'll say. Yeah, you need to you need to seek things of God, not things of religion. And that's mm -hmm. what the Lord shows me in the first place. Man, you need you need God. to you need to look at just the spiritual things of God, not spiritual things of the other part of the world not looking into other things that could happen but only looking into things mm. that god talks about in his word wow, yeah. and this this is what i mean it doesn't mean that there's miracles and things can happen that aren't in the bible they do you know like airplanes coming down to crash and all of a sudden you know somebody prays and the airplane's engines start again that's not in the bible because they didn't have airplanes mm. but right now what i see for you moshe is that god wants you to focus on him he wants you into his word. You need to be in his word because, you know, you, you can't you can't learn more about him unless you get in his word and read his love language and read his heart. Because once you know God's heart, then you can start operating more in things. So if you'll start getting into that deeper, you know, God's going to start doing some things in you. And I can tell you that right now. So I pray for favor over you and over your family. And I will pray that God will give you a prophetic insight. Instead of you asking everybody else, I pray God would give that to you. As you Amen. seek him, <laughs> as you seek him, God will start opening those doors for you mm. in Jesus' name. I declare that over you. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Those that want prayer questions, if you could just use the question tab so that I can track them. Um, okay. And then finally, we've got uh, Sister Natalie, the one that you did prophesy. Well, I know that she's expecting you said sure. uh, concerning child, she asked, can you pray for peace over my family? Yes, I can do that. 
right now, Heavenly Father, I pray that you just put a supernatural peace. That God, all these things, people that are worrying, people are wondering, people are thinking. Right now, God, I ask for peace to come over them completely. Jesus that, this, that, that God, not only peace come over this family, but the family unites back together better than what it was before. But God, the peace that's been disrupted throughout the Amen. whole world right now, because of this tiny little virus that's going around, I rebuke that and I bind it in the name of Jesus. Jesus and I name. pray that your family has peace, such a peace that those that might not even have accepted Christ will start accepting him. Amen. And they they Amen. will ask questions in Jesus' name. Yes. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. So I can see some people have been um, putting some questions on the actual live. So I'm just going to scroll down. I've got Sister Abby, Abby Bannerman. Um, let's just bring her up now. If you can, those that are putting the questions on the live, if you can select the question tab so our prophet can see your name clearly. I'm going to just go to those who have already put the questions up. I've got Judith. Can you pray for God's direction over my life? Thank you. Yes, Heavenly Father, we just pray right now that you will Lord. make things very, very clear to Judith, God. Amen. That God, sometimes I know we get so caught up in the fog that's encompassed us in this world. But right now, God, I ask that you give her clarity of mind body, soul, and spirit, and that God, Jesus. you'll let her see that your direction, God, is that if we plant our feet into your word, and if we plant ourselves into your worship, into your music, into your things, God, that you'll open those doors for us that were closed before, Amen. and you'll make yes, things Lord. come alive. So just be prepared, Judith, as you start doing things, God's direction of your life, dig in, dig in, dig in, because the more you dig in, here's what happens is we go into life like this. Our eyes are covered mm. and we're like, where do we go? Where do we go? Where would we go? And if we start reading God's word and you start spending time in prayer, God's going to give you insight on things himself. Hallelujah. And that's what you really need. Now going and asking somebody is one thing, but being able to see it yourself, that's when the miracles really start happening. So go for it. Just do Amen. it. Just get deep in God. Amen. Thank you. God bless you, man of God. Um, I've just got, can you give me from soldier in God army? Can you give me a word for my deliverance ministry that have started all the way in Barbados? Sure. That's soldier in God. Yeah. This, this is, this is what I want to say about it, right? Real quick. I'm just going to say it. Deliverance is something that anybody can do. If you're born again, spirit filled, you can do that. Amen. Because when you have the spirit of God in you, you can command, the demons to go, this is what I can tell you. So listen carefully. When I was in hell, the demons had full control over me. Mm. There's nothing I could do. But when I came back to earth and I accepted Jesus in my life and I, and I was filled with the Holy Spirit, those demons can't touch me. And then they can hit my physical body or do something like that, but they can't touch my spirit. And once mm. I learned that I have full control and I can command them to go, they have to obey in Jesus' name. They don't obey me. They obey mm. the spirit of God that's in me. So when I ask them to go, I do it in Jesus' name because it's very important. You have to understand, you have to do it in Jesus' name. You don't have the authority to do it without his name. Mm. You have to do that. And if you will start doing it and just say, in Jesus' name, I command you to go. Don't sit there with a bucket and try to get him to throw up. Don't do any of that. You have control over that demon. A demon doesn't have control over you or over that mm. person. If that person's willing to give it up, you get them out right away. There's been Amen. times where... I've gone up to somebody and I just whispered in their ear. God, I wanted to just grab that demon and shake the person almost. <laughs> and God stopped me and he says, no, I want you to whisper to this young lady, 14 year old girl. And I went up and whispered in her ear. And I just said that and instantly the demon left her. She dropped to the ground and was slain in the spirit for over 30 minutes, just wow. from a whisper. So wow. dig in deep, just do it. Amen, amen. Thank you so much for that. Now there is, um, I think we have um, Sister Abby, and you haven't put your questions on the question tab. If you can just write the questions by clicking onto the question tab. I've got a well, question can saying. I, can, can I give you a word for Abby? Before oh. I haven't even said anything. Oh yeah, okay, go on then. <laughs> so, okay, God's placed a joy in Abby's heart. Abby is supposed oh, yeah. to be a joyful person. She Abby is. is a person <laughs> that, that God has put a supernatural joy in. And Abby what, Abby needs to get out there and keep spreading that joy because God gave it. God knitted that in her 
and her mother's stomach. She came out wow. joyful. And she's wow. a little joy, bundle of joy. And God says that he gave her joy as a gift. So she has this bubbly, uh, just infectious type love of God that just bubbles out of her to other people. So keep it up. Amen. That's the Lord Amen. gives me. Thank you. And that's so true. She is such a bubbly woman of God. Um, she did say, could you place for my husband's business also? Um, yeah. You know, he has hey, his let's, own business. Yeah. Let's do this. Okay. Because with all this stuff, listen, I bind and break off all the demonic strongholds that are trying to stop his business from growing. Amen. Because anytime, anytime it's a business of God or God's person doing business, the devil tries to do anything. So right now we Jesus bind it name. and we break it off. Amen. And I ask right now, God, that you just, you get him to do the seed work that he's supposed to Jesus. do, God, for that business to just grow exponentially. Where God, Hallelujah. Where over the next few months and over the next few years, that business will grow so much it'll have to divide and, and split up and even go further, God. I don't know what business it is, but God's ready to do that. So, and God's oh, just God. saying he needs, he needs to put his, plant his seeds where they grow properly. And that's what I get from the Lord. Oh, praise God. Yes, Tim Bannerman, he's an amazing, um, he's actually a man of God as well. He's got a restaurant business. So he is actually oh, great. looking... I believe to expand it as well. So he has a restaurant business he recently started. Go. So that is spot yeah. on, spot on. And then I have, um, I have, she hasn't put it on the tab, but I will just, sure, just read it. come through. It says Charmaine, um, it's been a very trying few months for me medically and mentally. Please do pray for me. And she said, I think at the bottom, she says also a word is much needed. Oh, bless you. Charmaine. Yeah, well, Charmaine. Charmaine, sure, you know, the, the things that have been happening to you, you know, they're, they're, here, here's what we, we try sometimes as Christians, we can't understand this, but it happens. You see this? We're flesh. We're flesh and blood. There's things that happen to us that just come and happen because we're human. There's diseases that happen. There's breakdowns in body parts and everything like that that happen. But this is what I do know. Right now, I'm, I'm going to bind up. All of the yes, demonic Lord. attack that's been happening to you. To start in with. the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we bind that. Yes, and I speak a healing power yes, Lord. from God to come over your body and to heal you. Even as we're talking right now, I'm asking God that, that it's not just a miracle happening. I want her to feel it happening. Hallelujah. I want those, I want those you, inner Jesus. parts of her that have been bothering her, those inner things that bothering her there, down there, God. I want you to start healing that right now. I want you to take God and I want your presence to be made known to her. I plead the blood of Jesus over her completely, mind, body, soul, and spirit. And I command the body to come back into alignment so that she's 100% healed. So the God she goes through and she can testify about the things, God, that you just did to her right now. In Jesus' name I pray. Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you. Jesus. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I'm just going to take a few more. Um, I've got um, okay. questions. Um, uh, Jolson is asking, um, how does Jesus look like? Now, Jolson, if you go back to the previous live, I've posted it. Um, yes. Our prophet Ivan has kind of said his right. experience there. So thank you so much, um, Jolson. Um, I've got someone else I think I have missed. Let me just go back. So sorry. Just bear with me a moment. I just want to make sure that I haven't missed anybody. Okay. Um, yeah, I've that. only got a couple more minutes myself. I got yeah. a conference to go to tonight. Yeah, no so. problem. That's okay. So what what I'm going to do? Um, I'm just going to take this last one here. Um, can you pray? Here we go. Can you please pray for more of God's spirit and favor in me and my family from Uche Gabriel? Okay. Ooh, Uche Gabriel. Good name. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Heavenly mm -hmm. Father, uh, I want the Gabriel family to be blessed. Hallelujah. I want the Spirit of God, the favor of God to come on the whole family. Amen. E e even those that might not be Christian, that they will get blessed too, so that they will have to recognize that it came from you, God. Amen. And that's how, that's how you'll witness to them is through that. Because it's not only just how we speak. Sometimes, God, you do you perform miracles and all kinds of things. So I pray for this man's family completely, that God, you just take and God, you just bless them. I mean, bless them financially, spiritually, you know, mentally, everything that they need, God. Amen. Just bless them. Amen. 
In Jesus' name I pray. I pray for favor, favor, favor. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you so much, Evan. I know we've got some questions, um, uh, prayers still coming through, but I know you're kind of pushed for time. So well, I, I, I've, got, yeah. I've got a conference with, with, yeah. uh, Charlie, with Charlie Champ and, and oh, wow. uh, someone else happen. today. So I'm, it's, yeah. Uh, yeah, so I got I to get going to go no, to that. No. So. Just before we go, just uh, I really do want to um, just everyone that, I was sure. kind of backwards on here. Um, Prophet Evan, yeah. he's written a book about his experience. You can purchase this on Amazon. That's where I've got it from. All his experiences and more is in here. Um, those of you that have been blessed by his ministration today, um, please also, um, if you can share us details of how people can sow into your life. You are a man of God. You poured out to us. Yeah. And we want to be able to pull back into you and bless you as well. well so if you can just direct people to where they can, if they want to sure. give. Yeah. It's it's simple. They can just go to ivantuttle.com. Ivantuttle.com. Just, just ivantuttle.com. Just one word, okay. ivantuttle.com. And they can go there and there's a place they can give. Uh, that's my website. So Thank they you. can just so, go there. Yeah. And then thank you so much. So please yeah. do give bless, bless him for his work. You know, it's, it, we just want to bless him, uh, bless you for spending time with us. Sorry, I didn't know, give you the title. It's um, a journey to hell, heaven, and back. And it's on his Instagram as well. So you, if you forget the name, I don't think it's quite that difficult to forget. It's on his, his Instagram as well. So please yeah. follow him. If you're on Instagram, his social media, his Facebook, please encourage him as well for the good work that he's doing. Um, we just, we, we just want to really support him in the work he's Thank doing. You. So um, just finally, last thing I'm going to do before we go, I don't ever want to leave any kind of thing without given an opportunity for anyone that is going to hear this or even hearing this now you're hearing this and you want to know Jesus and you want to accept Jesus into your heart um, I'm going to say a prayer repeat after me but I want you to really believe this is something that you are doing for yourself you know believe in your heart if you want to accept Jesus say it with your heart not because you're just repeating after me and connect with myself you can connect with Ivan I'm here for you uh, we have a ministry in London, King's Cross Nations Call, where we can disciple you as well. So yes. if you want to believe in Jesus Christ, if you want to go to heaven, you need to accept him. So I'm going to say a prayer. If you repeat after me, say, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, I believe, I believe that you are the son of God, that you are the son of God, and that you died for my sins, that you died for my sins, and you rose again from the dead that you rose again from the dead. I ask you to forgive me. I ask you to forgive me. Of all my sins. Of all my sins. And cleanse me in your blood. And cleanse me in your blood. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. For saving my soul. For saving my soul. I am now born again. I am now born again. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Powerful so, prayer you just prayed for everybody. That was good. <laughs> yes. It's still mm. glory to God. So this is what it's about. We're yeah. here to win souls. Win souls as yes. many as possible. Um, so I just want to thank everyone for joining. And please share. I'm going to put this on YouTube. It's on my Instagram as well. If you want to listen yeah. back to it as well, you're welcome to. Share it to your friends and family. Connect with Ivan. Connect with him on his Instagram, on his Facebook and please sow into his life. He's blessed us. Let's bless him also. Amen. Thank you so much, Ivan. God bless Thanks. you. I enjoyed it. God bless. We'll do it again. God bless sometime. you. We'll do it again. Definitely. God Thanks. bless you. Thanks. Thank God bless. You. All right. Bye-bye. Right. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.